In this demonstration, I'll show you how a developer like myself can quickly and easily use the IBM Developer Cloud to request resources, develop an application, and integrate with services like PayPal Adaptive Payments. I'm now signing into the Developer Cloud using my user ID and password. Once logged in, I can see the instances that I already have running in the cloud. Here we see several enterprise SUSE Linux images running. I can also see the details about each image, such as how many days it's been running, its IP address, and which OS is provisioned. In addition, I can restart or delete the instance from within this self-service user interface. As a developer, I can build an application on top of IBM middleware that integrates with the PayPal Adaptive Payments API. I can do this by adding a new instance and then selecting from a wide variety of IBM software in the catalog. Using the PayPal service as an example, I can request a new x.com instance which has WAS CE, Eclipse, and an integrated PayPal sample SDK to develop my Java application. After selecting x.com, I can fill in the details of the new instance as well as customize the number of servers to be provisioned the size of the instance, the expiration date for the image, and any usernames and passwords that are required. The last step is to review my request and accept the terms and conditions. It's that easy to request a cloud resource with SUSE Linux, WAS CE, Eclipse, and the PayPal sample SDK, which I can then use to start developing my Java application. The Developer Cloud is currently provisioning the resource, and within minutes the image will be available. This screen shows the details of the provisioned image, and it gives the developer details about the x.com service and related SDKs. Now I can show how a developer can leverage the integration with PayPal's Adaptive Payments SDK to be able to develop an application. First, we will use the remote desktop client to access the newly provisioned server. This is the virtual machine we just provisioned. It has Eclipse set up with the PayPal sample application and SDK integrated. I'm now launching Eclipse and we can see it has WAS CE embedded within it. This is where the sample app is already running. I'll now select my WAS CE server and open a properties box which allows me to add or remove resources. Here we see that the PayPal Flight Ear resource has already been added. Now my application is integrated with PayPal and deployed on the cloud. I'm now showing a sample Java application that simulates a flight reservation system. This mobile calendar application allows me to schedule and purchase flights using a calendar. The application has a pre-approval amount of $100 configured using PayPal's Adaptive Payment System so that I can make purchases without having to log in every time. I'm now selecting a flight from San Francisco to Chicago on March 17th and clicking the Buy Now button completes my purchase using PayPal. In this demonstration, we've shown how easy it is for a developer to use the IBM Developer Cloud to obtain a server that includes IBM middleware and integrates a third-party service like PayPal Adaptive Payments. For more information, please visit ibm.com cloud.